Hello. Hi. Uh, welcome to day 117. Oh, 17. Two. <laughs> I, was, I was reading 1 and 2, and that was in my mind. 117. We're, we're reading 1 Kings 1 and 2. I just uh, was to the dentist, and $470 later, uh, my head's all swelled up here. So if it looks like I'm drooling, I am, because I can't control it. <coughs> Pardon me. Anyhow, we've finished 2 Samuel. Now we're starting 1 Kings. And uh, welcome. I'm Eric. Amanda. And we're reading through the Bible in a year. And like I said, day 117. So let's open in prayer. Father in heaven, we do count it all joy to read your word. There are things in your word, Lord, that disturb us. There are things that give us great joy. There are things that we learn. And thank you for the challenge and for the encouragement. And now, Lord, as we read your word, we ask that you do more of it into our hearts and our lives, that we come to know you in a greater way. And we thank you all that are listening, and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It's your turn <coughs> to start. Adonijah, Adonijah sets himself up as king. Are you reading first or are you reading? You are. Why? Because I read first yesterday and you oh. made a big deal about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> when King David was old and well advanced in years, he could not keep warm even when they put covers over him. So his servant said to him, Let us look for a young virgin to attend the king and take care of him. She can lay beside him so that our lord the king may keep warm. Every man's <coughs> dream. Is Every right. man's dream is right. <laughs> Then they searched throughout Israel for a beautiful girl and found Abishag, a Shunammite, and brought her to the king. The girl was very beautiful. She took care of the king and waited on him, but the king did not initiate relations with her. Now, Adonijah, whose mother was Haggith, put, her, put, her, uh, put himself forward and said, and says himself, now Adonijah, whose Adonijah mother says he exalted himself. was Hagar. Okay, Saying, I will be Adonijah. King. <coughs> okay, Ford and said, I will be king. So he got chariots and horses ready with 50 men and ran ahead of him, or to run ahead of him. His father had never interfered with him by asking, why do you behave as you do? He was also very handsome and was born next after Absalom. Adonijah conferred with Joab, son of Zerah, and with Abathar, the priest, and they gave him their support. But Zedar, the priest, um, Benaiah, son of Jehoiada, Nathan, the prophet, Semei, and Re, and David's special guard did not join Adonijah. Verse 9. And Adonijah slew sheep and oxen and fat cattle by the stone of Zohila, which is by En Rogal, and called all his brethren the king's sons and all the men of Judah the king's servants. But <coughs> Nathan the prophet and Benaha, the mighty man, and Solomon his brother, he called not. Wherefore Nathan spake unto Bathsheba, the mother of Solomon, saying, Hast thou not heard that Adjaniah? Ad Onaya, Nijah, I guess it is, the son of Haggith the, doth reign, and David our Lord knoweth it not. Now therefore come, let me, I pray thee, give thee counsel, that thou mayest save thine own life and the life of thy son Solomon. I guess when we became king, we killed all the opposition, eh? Yep. Oh my. Go, you think a king wouldn't want to have a lot of kids then, because one will become king and kill us. Go and get thee into the king, David, and say to him, Didst thou, my lord, O king, swear unto thine handmaiden, saying, As surely as Solomon thy son shall reign after me, and he shall sit upon my throne, why then doth add no jai reign? Behold, while thou yet talkest there with the king, I also will come <coughs> after thee and confirm thy words. Verse 15. So Bathsheba went to see the aged king in his room, where... Abishag, the Shunammite, was attending. 
Sorry about that. The sheep bowed low and knelt before the king. What it is you want? The king asked. She said to him, My lord, you yourself swore to me, your servant, by the Lord your God, Solomon your son, shall be king after me, and he will sit on my throne. But now Adonijah has become king, and you, my lord, the king, did not know about it. He has sacrificed great numbers of cattle, fattened calves, and sheep. And has initiated all the king's son, invited all the king's son, Abathar the priest, and Joab the commander of the army. But he has not invited Solomon, your servant. My lord the king, the eyes of all Israel are on you, to learn from you who will sit on the throne of my lord the king after him. Otherwise, as soon as my lord the king is laid to rest with his fathers, I and my son Solomon will be treated as criminals. While she was still speaking with the king, Nathan the prophet arrived, and they told the king, Nathan the prophet is here. So he went before the king and bowed with his face to the ground. Verse 24. And Nathan said, My lord, O king, hast thou said, Adonijah shall sit on your throne after me, and he shall sit uh, reign, and for he has gone down this day, and has slain oxen and fat cattle and sheep, in abundance, and I called all the king's <coughs> sons and the captains of the host, and Abathar the priest. And behold, they eat and they drink before him, and say, God save King Adonijah. But me, even me, thy servant, and Zadok the priest, and Beth Naah, the sons of Zehoadan, and thy servant Solomon, hath he not called? Is this thing done by my lord the king, and thou hast not showed it unto thy servant who should sit on the throne of my lord the king after him? Verse 28. David makes Solomon king. Then King David, king David said, Call in Bathsheba. So she came in into the king's presence and stood before him. The king then took an oath, as surely as the Lord lives, who has delivered me out of every trouble. I will surely carry out today what I swore to you by the Lord, the God of Israel. Solomon, your son, shall be king after me, and he will sit on my throne in my place. Then Bathsheba bowed low with her face to the ground, and kneeling before the king, said, May my lord King David live forever. King David said, Call in Zedek the priest, Nathan the prophet, and Benael, son of Je uh, Jehoadah. When they came before the king, he said to them, Take your Lord's servants with you and set Solomon, my son, on my own mule and take him down to Gihon. There have Zadok the priest and Nathan the prophet anoint him king over Israel. Blow the trumpet and shout, Long live King Solomon. Then you are to go up with him and he is to come and sit on my throne and reign in my place. I have, anointed, I have appointed him ruler over Israel and Judah. Verse 36. And Benah, the <coughs> son of Jehoiada, answered the king and said, Amen. The Lord God of my lord, the king, say so too. And as the Lord hath been with my lord, the king, even so be he with Solomon, and make his throne greater than the throne of my lord, King David. So Jadok the priest, and Nathan the prophet, and Benah, the son of Jehoiada, and the Cherethites, and the Perosites went went down and caused Solomon to ride upon King David's mule, and brought him to Gishon. I'm looking for it. That's right. Okay. And Zadok the priest took an horn of oil out of the tabernacle and anointed Solomon. And they blew the trumpet, and all the people <coughs> said, God save King Solomon. And all the people came up after him, and the people piped with pipes and rejoiced with great joy, so that the earth rent with sounds of them. Verse 41. Adonijah and all the guests who were with him heard it as they were finishing their feast. On hearing the sound of the trumpet, Joab asked, What's the meaning of all the noise in the city? Even as he was speaking, Jonathan, son of Ab Abiathar, the priest, arrived. Adonijah said, Come in. A witty man like you must be bringing good news. Not at all, Jonathan answered. Our Lord, King David, has made Solomon king. The king has sent with him Zadok the priest, Nathan the prophet, Benaiah, son of Joadah, and the Kerithite, and the 
Palisades, and they have put him on the king's mule. And Zadok the priest and Nathan the prophet have anointed him king in Gihon. From there they came, they have gone up cheering, and the city resounds with it. That's the noise you hear. Moreover, Solomon has taken a seat on the royal throne. Also the royal officials have come to congratulate our Lord King David, saying, May your God make Solomon's name more famous than yours, and his throne greater than yours. And the king bowed in worship on his bed and said, Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, who has allowed my eyes to see a successor on my throne today. Verse 49. And all the guests that were with Abba were afraid and rose up and went every man his way. And Abba feared because of Solomon and arose and went and caught hold on the horn of the altar. And it was told Solomon, saying, Behold, Adonijah, fearing <clears throat> King Solomon, for, oh, lo, he hath caught hold of the horns of the altar, saying, Let King Solomon swear unto me, to day, that he will not slay his servant with the sword. And Solomon said, If he will show himself a worthy man, there shall not be a hair of him fall to the earth. But if wickedness shall be found in him, he shall die. So King Solomon sent that they were brought to him down from the altar. And he came and bowed himself to King Solomon. And Solomon said unto him, Go to thine house. And so, that's the end of the first part, part one. Well, we read one and two. Yeah, but we don't have time to read. Well, we have three minutes yet. So we can so read, read, read like mid down here, maybe. Right? Read down here. Okay. David charged to Solomon. Chapter, chapter two, two, first king. When the time drew near for David to die, he gave a charge to Solomon his son. I'm, out to, I'm about to go the way of all the earth, he said. So be strong, show yourself a man, and observe what the Lord your God requires. Walk in his ways and keep his decrees and commands, his laws and requirements, as written in the law of Moses, so that you may prosper in all that you do and wherever you go, and that the Lord may keep his promise to me. If your descendants watch how they live, and if they walk faithfully before me with all their heart and soul, you will never fail to have a man in the throne of Israel. Now you yourself know that Joab, son of Zerah, did to me what he did to the two commanders of Israel's army, Abner, Abner son of Ner, and Amos, son of Jesse. He killed them, shedding their blood in peacetime, as if in battle, and with that blood stained the belt around his waist and the sandals on his feet. Deal with him according to your wisdom, but do not let his gray head go down to the grave in peace. Verse 7. The Shokinahs unto the sons of Barazillah, the Gideonite, and let them be in those of those that eat at the table. For so they came to me when I fled because of Absalom thy father. And behold, thou hast with thee Shimeel, the son of Gera, a Benjaminite of Bethurim, which <coughs> cursed me with a grievous curse in the day when I went to Mahanaim. But he came down to meet me at Jordan, and I swear to him by the Lord, saying, I will not put thee to death with the sword. Now therefore hold him not guiltless, for thou art a wise man, and knowest what thou oughtest to do with him. But his poor head bring thou down to the grave with blood. So David slept with his fathers, and was buried in the city of David. The days that were of David's reign over Israel were forty years, seven years reigned at he in Hebron, and thirty and three years reigned he in Jerusalem. And I think that's probably a good place to end part one. So, and so Solomon sat on the throne of his father David, and his rule was firmly established. Mine ended before that. And mine ended there. Interesting. Solomon's throne established is the next Don't go portion. away. Part two will come shortly. <coughs>